look at this. There is another pet clone coming up. Hi, this is Andre, and if you know me, uh, you've probably seen my Commodore Pet clone, uh, which I previously built quite a while ago, uh, based on a passive bus system and Eurocard boards, in fact, four Eurocard boards, such like this one, which is just the CPU and some extensions on it. And um, yeah, what well, here's my newest project. This is the so-called MicroPet. Recently, the software was 8-bit has, has commercially released another pet clone, the MiniPet. Um, I'll put a link into the description below. So why a new one? I have a couple of things I want to do differently. The MiniPet uses as a video output an Atmega microcontroller, as far as I know. Uh, this makes the video chip smarter than the 6502 that's actually in the pet. So that I like my systems um, 6502 driven, so that no other processor in their system is actually smarter than my beloved 6502. Um, secondly, the mini pad can only run on 40 column and is basically providing a system like the early 32K versions of the Commodore PET. So no CRTC video chip, only 32K of RAM and no other no other extensions. Thirdly, I like uh, my stuff as open source. Uh, I don't think the mini pad is. So the micro pad, as I call it, will be published on GitHub. The micro pad, as I call it, shares uh, a common goal to the mini pad. Um, and that is being uh, able to be built with still available tools. I've have, I haven't managed to do that yet because it's still using the Motorola 3446 IEEE 488 drivers. Um, and also you can see these IEEE connectors that I that I planned into the first revision are actually quite hard to come by in, in the meantime. So um, let's give you a, common, a, a short overview on, on the system. And as you can see, there are some, some, some big uh, chips here. This is this is a RAM up to 512k. This is a ROM also up to 512k. Um, there is place for the CPU. You can see it's a um, PLCC package and not the DIP package because this doesn't take as much space. There is a CPLD. Um, you can probably see it here um, to um, have some glue logic and also do the video output. 3.3 volt generation for the CPLD, which is so on the left hand side basically that's the that's the base computer, and on the right hand side you see that there is the I/O chips, the the VIA and the two PIA chips, and also the the uh, connectors for the for the I/O and everything. So a deeper uh, description of this system uh, will be in a, in a follow up video. Um, so. Let me know what you think about this uh, project. Is it something that's worth pursuing? Um, what do you think uh, what I should use as IEEE 488 connector? Should I introduce a card edge connector? Actually, I have more cables like this, but uh, and, and less than for the card edge connector. Uh, there will be a flat ribbon connector for the IEEE 488. So uh, let me know what you think. And um, also, would it make sense to split this up into two boards, one for the CPU and one for the I.O., uh, and put it in some kind of bus system that I, similar to what I use in my previous uh, Commodore PET clone, or uh, what is now used in the um, uh, RC2014 Z80 computer board that's been uh, popular on the Internet right now. So let me know what you think. Um, leave a comment uh, in the section below and um, thanks for watching.